Hi everyone, I'm here to show you uh, three different trombones here. Uh, there's uh, the two I don't have in possession. I don't have a soprano or an alto, but um, this is a tenor trombone. This is uh, typically uh, the trombone that nearly everybody first starts learning on in school band or uh, in lessons of but typically, everyone learns on the tenor trombone. It's, uh, the, uh, the tenor trombone is centered around the B-flat harmonics. This is a small bore straight tenor. There are large bore straight tenors. And uh, but one of the limitations of a straight tenor is that there's no true pitches between. The low E, which is at the bottom of the bass staff. And then the next lowest true note on a straight tenor is the pedal B flat, which is uh, two ledger lines below the bass staff. I haven't quite got down to the pedal E yet, but uh, anyway, I'm not warmed up today, but. Anyway, that's a uh, straight tenor. Anyway, now we move to the tenor with an F attachment. You'll notice that there's an extra section of tubing here, which is opened up by using a trigger. And that's what the thumb rests on, is, uh, <clears throat> if you're using this. And uh, <clears throat> my first F attachment horn, I bought this uh, almost a year and a half ago. But up until then, I've always uh, just used a straight tenor. But uh, anyway, the one thing about the F attachment, play a B flat. And by pressing the trigger, you can get an F. Or if you go from F, and it makes things easier whenever you're using playing B naturals and C's that on a straight tenor you got to go all the way out to six and seven and makes it a little more difficult in playing faster passages. So instead of You can also play notes between low E. You have an alternate position for that low E. And you have low E flat. D. And B flat. And then C. The slide is barely on the horn almost. And if you absolutely have one or two B naturals, but you have to lip it, lip it down a semitone. 
But uh, it's not the most practical. But anyway, you can at least for sure play E flat, D, D flat slash C sharp, and low C. And then uh, before you go to pedal B flat. Now, we'll move to the bass trombone. The bass trombone, uh, most bass trombones have uh, two extra pieces of tubing. So there's two attachments. And uh, this one, there's an F attachment. And there's like a G flat attachment. Or with both of them, and with both triggers down, you get a low D. new at uh, playing bass trombone so, uh, but uh, you can easily play like all of the notes between low E and pedal B flat now you have two ways of playing low D trigger in here or both triggers and one all the way in now you have two ways of playing Low, low D, C sharp, and C, where you don't have to go as far out. And you have a B natural. bass trombone. And the two which I don't have are uh, soprano and alto. An alto let me set down my bass, pick up my straight tenor again. An alto looks like a smaller version of this. It's about, it's about this long. Mid to here. And the harmonics are around E flat. So the same place that B flat is on here, this E flat. So it's a third higher. And then you have uh, a soprano trombone, which is an octave higher than the tenor. And uh, it's uh, tiny. It's about the length of a trumpet, and it's the same pitch as a trumpet. Anyway, there's uh, the trombone family.